I was talking with a friend of mine yesterday about vulnerability, which I find to be a really fun thing to talk about, so in the spirit of that, I thought I would extend this conversation into vlog form. Vulnerability is one of those things that's linked to weakness a lot of the time, and that's fair. It kind of exists in a linguistic gray area because vulnerable can be used to describe weaknesses. And as a result of this, the concept of vulnerability is a really scary one to people. It's been scary to me in the past. It's still scary to me. It's a tricky thing, vulnerability, because it can be really scary. It can be terrifying. It can cause a lot of damage, but at the same time, it can also cause a lot of strength and be very empowering. There's multiple kinds of strengths, I feel like. There's sort of the purest form of strength, which is just sort of like an attacking strength, but there's also the strength in survival, and I think that kind of goes hand in hand with being vulnerable, at least for me. For the better part of the past year or so, uh, vulnerability has been my greatest asset, as opposed to being my greatest weakness, and that is a really personal thing. Obviously, that's not going to be the case for everyone, but I found that for me, being open and honest about myself, has been really helpful. I think the reason this is, is because in my family tree, I'm descended from narcissists. I was raised by a narcissist. I have a lot of very narcissistic tendencies woven into my DNA. So being vulnerable helps me keep my ego in check, which is another tricky thing because having a good, strong ego allows you to be confident, but if your ego is too strong, it can lead you to be overconfident and completely self-involved, which is a dance that I've done before, and it's a fun dance to do while you're doing it, but the consequences of doing that dance, you're really sore for weeks on end afterwards. Let's just give myself a high five for that analogy. Really well done, man. I find it's so helpful in my life to be honest about the mistakes that I've made, about my addictive tendencies as a person, about the things that I've done and why I've done them, because not only does it help me learn about why I've done those things and improve to make sure I don't do it again, but it also allows me to feel like I'm being real in front of people. And being real in front of people is not just a concern of mine on YouTube, but it's a concern of mine in my entire life. Because for the better part of the first 18 years of my life, I was real with no one. Not a single person. And for me, that's really important, especially on the internet in a setting like this, because a lot of times the camera and the lights kind of constructs this guise of perfection that I would really like to deconstruct a lot. So that's kind of what I've been doing with myself over the past year, or at least attempting to do and learning how to do it throughout this process, stripping myself completely bare and being open with everyone. It's kind of like being a nudist, but emotionally. You can call me the emotional nudist, I guess. And I think it's really helped me in my personal life because I feel like I'm being more real to everyone than I ever have in my life. And yes, it is scary being really honest about some very dark things to a large amount of people, especially over the internet, but I think, uh, again, kind of going back to the beginning of this video, there's a strength in survival. Yes, being vulnerable and opening up gives people the option to attack me personally, and it hurts, but at the same time, that's all I can do, really, is be me. But again, this is just something I've done for my life. I've found a lot of value in the concept of vulnerability, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. Um, if it scares you, if it terrifies you, because let's be honest, it still scares me a lot of the time. But the scary things, when you walk through them and experience them, I found in my life uh, are usually the most valuable ones when you get to the end of them. And uh, that's kind of how I view this thing. So as always, I'm Connor Manning. You've just become a little more awesome and I will see you guys on Friday. <laughs>